Hello friends, in this video, let us see how to evaluate the performance of a computer based on CPU's frequency. You might have heard or observed in your laptop the processor frequency as 3 GHz or 2.6 GHz or 2 GHz. What is the significance of this? Which one will provide a better performance? The performance is decided by the speed of the execution. If a particular program is executed in less time, then the speed of execution is higher. That means the speed of execution or performance of a computer is inversely proportional to execution of time. So it can be given as speed of execution is equal to 1 by execution time. The performance can also be evaluated based on the number of instructions executed per second. If more number of instructions are executed, then performance is higher. The performance is also evaluated based on the number of CPU clock cycles used to execute a particular program. If less number of clock cycles are used, then the performance is better. Now, you see this diagram. This is a sequence of clock cycles. This is one clock cycle. This is another clock cycle. If four cycles are produced in one second, then it is called as clock rate of four hits. If thousand such cycles are produced in one second, then the frequency is one kilohertz. Similarly, if the frequency is 3 gigahertz, then 3 into 10 power 9 cycles will be produced in one second. If a program is executed in 10 seconds, then the total number of cycles used will be clock rate into time. That is 10 into 4, 40 cycles will be used. So, the total number of cycles used during the execution will be equal to the clock rate into the time of execution. Similarly, if you see this one, two cycles are used by one instruction. CPI is clocks per instruction. So, two cycles per instruction. See, here I have taken three instructions. Each one is using two cycles. So the total number of cycles used by this program will be six, six clock cycles. So if a program has n number of instructions, then total number of cycles used by the program will be n into CPI number of cycles. So the total number of cycles used may be given in terms of n into CPI or clock rate into time. Clock rate, this is the clock rate into time, where n is the total number of instructions executed in the given time. So I have given the same thing here. Total CPU clock cycles used is equal to n into CPI, then clock rate into time. Now, we know that the performance depends on the execution time. So, from this, I am giving the execution time. The so execution time is equal to n into CPI divided by clock rate. That is, n into CPI is here. You bring this clock rate here. So, n into CPI divided by clock rate will give the execution time. And the performance is equal to 1 by execution time. So, it can also be given as clock rate divided by n into CPI. So, from this you can estimate or evaluate the performance. If you know the clock rate, if you know the number of instructions executed and if you know the number of clock cycles used per instruction, then you can find out the performance using this formula. So, instead of giving different formulas, I have given all the things together. From this, you can find out any unknown value if other values are given. Now, for example, 
if you need number of instructions executed that is n this n then n can be given in terms of this one that is clock rate into execution time divided by cpi in this way you can give or it can also be given as total number of clock cycles used here divided by cpi bring this cpi to the left side so total number of clock cycles used divided by cpi will also give the value of n total cpu clock cycles used can be evaluated by either using n into cpi or clock rate into execution time that is this one total cpu clock cycles used is equal to n into cpu or you can evaluate using clock rate into time now let us see one example Consider three processes P1, P2, and P3 executing the same instruction set. The processor P1 has 3 GHz clock rate and a CPI of 1.5. Processor P2 has a 2.5 GHz clock rate and a clocks per instruction of 1. And the processor P3 has 4 GHz clock rate and has a CPI of 2.2. Which processor has the highest performance expressed in instructions per second? Now I give the details in a tabular form. Processor P1 clock rate 3 gigahertz that is here and CPI 1.5. P2 is 2.5 gigahertz and CPI 1. P3 is 4 gigahertz and CPI 2.2. Now, which formula we have to use? That we have to decide. So, actually the clock rate is given, CPI is given. We have to calculate the performance. Let us see which one we can use. Performance is equal to clock rate divided by N into CPI. Clock rate is available. CPI is also available, but N is not available. See, in this case, since same instruction set is executed by all the three processors, N is same for all the three cases. Same set of instructions. So, N may be taken as 1. So, the performance can be given as clock rate divided by CPI only. So here in the first case clock rate is 3 into 10 power 9 that is 3 gigahertz that means 3 into 10 power 9 hertz then divided by CPI CPI is 1.5 that will be equal to 2 into 10 power 9 instructions per second this many instructions per second similarly performance of P2 will be clock rate 2.5 into 10 power 9 divided by CPI 1 that will be equal to 2.5 into 10 power 9 instructions per second. Similarly, performance of P3 is equal to 4 into 10 power 9 divided by CPI is 2.2. So, you will get 1.81 into 10 power 9 instructions per second. So, these are the instructions executed with a given time. If you see the first one, it is 2 into 10 power 9. Second one is 2, 2 2.5 into 10 power 9. Third one is 1.81 into 10 power 9. So, only processor P2 is executing more number of instructions per second. So, P2 is faster than P1 and P3. So, the performance of P2 is better. 